Welcome to this ultimate guide on how to upgrade your Skyrim archery combat system. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know to take your archery skills to the next level, from the best mods to enhance your gameplay, to tips and tricks for maximizing your damage output and improving your aim. Following the modern archery combat modding guide produced by this channel in the past, this guide video was produced based on more carefully selected mods. Modern archery combat modding guide is also a very helpful video for you, so please watch it if you have time. So grab your bow and arrows and let's get started. The first mod you should install is Smoothcam. Smoothcam is also a mod that I have recommended to you many times through this channel. This Smoothcam mod is a rock solid mod to upgrade your archery system to the next level. I will explain why. First, it is the 3D arrow prediction function supported by Smoothcam. This is the most necessary system for playing as an archer in third person. In particular, existing Skyrim cannot 100% trust the crosshair in the center of the screen. Because the hitting point changes depending on the location of the enemy when shooting an arrow, it is impossible to accurately hit the enemy with the existing vanilla crosshair system. Accuracy is the key to any archery system. To upgrade this to the core, 3D arrow prediction is essential, and the only mode that supports this is Smoothcam, so you will have to use the Smoothcam mod. Second, a third-person shoulder view camera system is a must. In the case of an archer, you need to aim and shoot arrows at the enemy, but in order to do that, you need to focus on the enemy. However, the traditional Skyrim camera system places the character in the center, which often obscures enemies. While this camera position can be somewhat effective in melee combat, it is very inconvenient in ranged combat. The player character hides the enemy in the middle of the screen, so you have no idea what kind of attack the enemy is attacking. Let's apply Solder View Camera via Smooth Cam, and let's set the character to position on the left or right. If you set this up, you can see the enemy accurately no matter where the enemy is and what distance the enemy is from, and you can shoot arrows at the enemy accurately because the character doesn't cover the enemy. The second is the Accuracy Precise Projectile Collisions mod. Accuracy is a mod that solves the problem of arrows sometimes passing through the body of an enemy, in simple and simple terms. However, despite the innovative features of this mod, it is still in early access stage, so you just understand that this mod exists in this part, it's not something you have to use. In Skyrim, projectiles collide with the character controller's collider, not the actor's actual mesh. This means that even if you hit an actor's body, the arrow may still pass through. But with the Accuracy mod, projectiles will collide with the actor's actual body mesh, allowing for more realistic and immersive combat. The mod fixes the mismatch between the body mesh and the controller's collider, which is especially noticeable when actors use different animations. With the Accuracy mod, you can finally hit enemies where it counts and enjoy a more satisfying combat experience. As explained earlier, the most important factor in an archery system is accuracy. Accuracy, as the title suggests, boosts accuracy. Therefore, since the base function of the archery system is strong, you need to pay attention to the accuracy mod. However, since this is an early access stage, it is worth paying attention to if it is officially uploaded to Test Nexus. Thirdly, I will introduce a mod that adds more dynamics and style to archer combat. It's called Bow Rapid Combo Vi 3, Archer Combat Overhaul by Smooth, and it adds several new features and animations to the archery gameplay. With this mod, you can use Rapid Shot, Melee Attack, Secondary Dagger, and Professional Skills with your bow. You can use these features separately from the Vanilla Combat method, which is based on pulling the bowstring. Enemies that are far away can be dealt a lot of damage by pulling the bowstring and shooting in the vanilla way, and enemies that come close can be attacked with rapid shot that does low damage but can strike quickly. To use rapid shot, you need to press the bow bash key while holding a bow. You will fire arrows continuously without pulling the bowstring. This is useful for dealing with multiple enemies or fast moving targets. You can also use melee attack with your bow by pressing a hotkey that you can assign in the MCM menu. You can kick, slash, or stab your enemies with your bow or dagger. Melee attacks do little damage, but stagger enemies. You can also equip a secondary dagger with your bow by crafting it at a forge. The secondary dagger will be visible on your character, 
and you can use it with the same hotkey as melee attack. The higher the grade of the dagger, the higher the damage, and it also inflicts bleeding damage to the enemy. You can also use airshot combo after kicking or stabbing your enemy. This will launch them into the air and shoot them with arrows. The mod also adds two professional skills that you can use with your bow, perfect timing and power shot. Perfect timing is activated when you release an arrow at the right moment when pulling the bowstring. The perfect timing zone is 0.3 seconds from the moment the bowstring is fully drawn. Power shot is activated when you hold down the attack button for a long time when pulling the bowstring. You will see a red flash on your screen when this happens. Power shot increases the damage and knockback of your arrow. This mod is a great way to enhance your archery experience in Skyrim. It adds more variety and realism to your combat style and makes it more enjoyable and immersive. If you are interested in this mod, you can download it from Nexus. If you are a fan of archery in Skyrim, you might want to check out this mod that makes it more realistic and challenging. It's called Skyrim Arrow Overhaul, and it adds different types of arrowhead system to the game that have different effects on your enemies. Firstly, all arrows in the game have different variants with different arrowheads, which have different effects on enemies. For example, if you're facing an enemy in heavy armor, you'll need to use armor-piercing arrows to penetrate the armor. The arrows also have a visual upgrade, with high-resolution textures and more detailed models. You can even see the arrows ricochet off armor, adding to the realism. Quivers have been added to the game, limiting the number of arrows you can carry, and making it necessary to equip a quiver to carry arrows. This also lets you choose a quiver that matches your outfit, without changing its appearance every time you change arrows. Archery itself has also been made more complex. Drawing a bow now consumes stamina, so you need to level up your stamina if you want to be a successful archer. Heavy bows are slower and consume more stamina when drawn, while the crossbow is a beginner-friendly option that does high damage without relying on stamina. The perk tree has been completely redesigned, with realistic options for archers to train and improve their skills. The NPCs in the game now use ammo, and bandits even spawn with crossbows. Heavy armor now reduces stamina regeneration, encouraging archer players to use light armor instead. The Skyrim Arrow Overhaul mod is a must-have for anyone who wants a more realistic and immersive archery experience in Skyrim. Get ready to explore a whole new world of archery with this amazing mod. Are you tired of vanilla archery in Skyrim? Do you want to add some new exciting and intuitive mechanics to your gameplay? Then this mod is for you! With Combo Archery, you can trigger different effects by simply shooting and moving in a certain direction. Poison your enemies, stun them, blow them up, and much more. And the best part is, you have full control over their activation. The mod replaces the vanilla bullseye perk and gives you a bunch of effects. Everything is intuitive and easy to master. Just use the movement keys to control your arrow effects. Left, right shooting is a breeze. And with sideways shooting, you'll have to practice a little bit. But after you become better at it, it feels really rewarding. At some point, it even feels like you're controlling your arrow effects directly with your mind. In the MCM menu, you can set up the Magicka or Stamina cost for these effects, giving you even more control over your gameplay. Let's take a look at some of the combos and effects you can trigger. First up, we have the Stun and Disarm combo. Simply shoot and move backward to stagger your opponents. In interiors, this combo can also disarm a power attacking opponent. In the MCM menu, you can choose the random chance value separately for larger and smaller enemies. Next we have the explosions, fire and frost combo. Shoot and move right to deal fire damage to an enemy and the area around it. Shoot and move left to deal frost damage and damage stamina. The higher your destruction skill level, the more damage the explosions deal. Thirdly, we have the Poison Combo. Simply shoot and move left or right while sneaking to slow down and deal damage to your enemies over time. This effect can be particularly useful when hunting or fighting enemies that are not easy to kill. And finally, we have the Drain Combo. Shoot and move forward or while not moving at all to drain Magicka or Stamina with each shot. You can turn your Magicka or Stamina pool into some kind of adrenaline bar, especially if you disable the passive regeneration. 
Are you a fan of Shadow of War's acrobatic combat and wish you could do something similar in Skyrim? Then this mod might be just what you need. The SAO Spirit Jump mod utilizes both better jumping and parkour in Skyrim to create a satisfying double jump arrow shoot, emulating that which can be performed in Shadow of War. Not only will this make you feel like a more agile and powerful warrior, but the slow time generated during a jump attack will also be very convenient for shooting your bow. You can customize the mod to your liking and even choose a mod without slow time. This makes the mod perfect for archers who want to add a bit of flair to their combat and feel like a true hero. Lastly, we're talking about locational damage. This mod allows you to deal extra damage and stagger your enemies based on where your attacks land on their body. The locational damage system is one of the indispensable elements of an archery combat system. And the best part? There's no ESP file needed. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. With locational damage, you can do precise damage to various races of actors, and because it only uses the SKSE plugin, you can safely install and uninstall the mod at any time. You can even customize your settings by opening the locational damage.ini file. So how does it work? The mod calculates the distance between the hit position of your attack and the node position of the actor you're attacking. This lightweight approach means there's no complicated or heavy processing needed, making it a seamless addition to your gameplay. The only downside to this mod is that it doesn't support AE. However, it is also possible that some great warrior will craft a locational damage NG in the future. So AE players don't give up hope. Thank you for watching this ultimate guide on upgrading your Skyrim archery combat system. We hope you found these tips and tricks helpful and that they will enable you to take your archery skills to new heights. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you next video.